This motorcycle just launched in India yesterday. Ye dekho. Hi guys and welcome back to Bike with Girl. भाई ये कल लॉन्च हुई नहीं है एंड रॉयल एनफील्ड हैज ऑलरेडी सेंट इट ओवर टू मी यस्टरडे ओनली कि भाई गो एंजॉय योर सेल्फ विथ इट सो एनी वे गाइज दिस इज द रॉयल एनफील्ड स्क्रैम विच इज द छोटा भाई ऑफ आवर हिमालयन वो तो दिख रहा ही है बट इट्स क्रेज ही बिकॉज मोस्ट मैनुफैक्चरर्स आर जम्पिंग ऑन द ट्रेंड ऑफ मेकिंग स्क्रैम्बलर्स बिकॉज पीपल आर जस्ट स्टक टू टाम एक्ट दीज डेज ना अ स्क्रैम्बलर इज मेन टू बी रिडन इन द ग्रे एरिया कि आप टाम एक्ट पे भी ले जाओ उसको और फिर थोड़ा ऑफ रोडिंग भी कर लो है ना दोनों का यूज इसमें आ ही जाता है दिस इज नॉट ऑफ कोर्स अ हार्ड को एडवेंचर बाइक और एन ऑफ रोड सो प्लीज डोंट मिस्टेक इट फॉर दैट बट यू कैन हैव योर वीकेंड फन विद दिस यू नो लोनावला चले गए फिर अच्छा ग्रीन एरिया दिखा चलो चलो वहाँ चलते हैं वो सब कर लिया दिस इज दैट बाइक like the look of the scram it's definitely tinier than the himalayan and for people that were complaining that the himalayan is too big too tall all of that this would be a perfect fit and man i am so digging the color options that ari has provided uh, this would not be one of my favorites i would like the blue and yellow the most uh, but what do you guys like tell me in comments so essentially this is running the exact same engine as the himalayan बट लोगों को हिमालयन बहुत बड़ी लगती थी फॉर डेली कम्यूट्स एंड दैट इज द फीडबैक आई हैव गॉटन फ्रॉम राइडर्स मोटरसाइकिल्स दैट आई नो दिस इज अ फोर इलेवन सी सी सिंगल सिलेंडर एयर कूल्ड इंजन एंड इट साउंड लाइक दिस ये सुनी सुनाई आवाज है बाय द वे दिस इज नॉट द फर्स्ट टाइम एम हियरिंग दिस और यू फॉर दैट मैटर Hey bro, you literally just told me to park it here, man. Anyway, this is I have a better technique instead of riding it around and all that. So this is what I usually do when I wanna move a big bike around, like in the opposite direction. Me, I use the side stand, and a lot of people with big bikes use the same technique. So it's on the side stand now. I pull up the front. pull up the rear and turn front up rear up front up rear up last wala front up rear up <laughs> is this okay or you want it a little more yeah super bhai i have not seen pune like this before so much freaking traffic इट वॉज जस्ट सो बैड राइडिंग तो मैंने सोचा भाई यू टर्न मार के घर चले जाओ वापस माई पेरेंट्स लिव इन पुणे आई हैव कम टू दे सोसाइटी और ये <laughs> उनकी सोसाइटी का गार्डन है बेसिकली दिस इज द पार्क दैट हैज कम्प्लीटली देव टेकन आउट एवरी थिंग एंड दे गो री डू द पार्क अगेन विच इज द परफेक्ट प्ले ग्राउंड फॉर द स्क्रैम 
getting back to the scram. So, what has Royal Enfield done with the scram? Because essentially, this is the same chassis, the same engine as the Himalayan. So, what is different, right? So, you remember the side panels that used to come aise, aise pura karke aate the piche on the Himalayan? Those have been deleted and we have these tiny side panels that come out now, which I think look a lot cooler for sure. The front tyre has gotten bigger. The ground clearance is definitely not as much as the Himalayan, but bhai, ye scrambler hai. And yeah, the, the fact that it's got these really cool colours and, and uh, the front looks a lot different than the Himalayan as well, by the way. What I'm missing on the bike is a rev counter because I like to see my revs climb. And if you're like me, you're going to miss that too. This whole unit comes from the Meteor. It's got a really comfortable seat. It's a one-piece seat as you can see over here. That's a new grab rail design. Those are new indicators as well. Oh. So guys, the suspension travel on this has reduced by 10 mm. Uh, the Himalayan was 10 mm higher. For anybody that found the Himalayan tallish, um, there's not going to be much respite with the scram. It's, it's definitely 5 mm shorter. But I'm still finding it quite tall when I'm when I'm like riding through traffic and riding off-road and stuff. This is lighter than the Himalayan for sure, which makes moving it around easier. Let me show you. See now we are off-road, right? See that? A lot better than the Himalayan. So guys, uh it's called a price here, it is two point zero three lakhs ex showroom for the basic model and this is the one with the bells and whistles which is for 2.08 lakhs ex showroom uh, you have navigation system mil jayega, uh, ye color scheme mil jayegi, and a few small bells and whistles so honestly guys what do you think what will this bike do for the Indian market do you like it if you do tell me in comments I'm waiting to hear from you anyway uh, I hope you like this video. Do like, subscribe, share the video with your friends because we need to share the joy of motorcycling with many more. See ya! Heat wave se bachke rahi ho. Bye!